Welcome to Take On Television. I'm Andy Bean, stuck with Dave Zerowick of the Baltimore Sun. Dave, this week we have a national television news operation come to Baltimore with a feel-good story. Yeah, it's a feel-good story, Andy, and and it's going to be online, so you can access it anytime at CNN.com. It's hard to tell people when to see a five-minute feature is because they run it, they stagger it uh, throughout the day. But here's what it is. Um, during the Freddie Gray civil, post-Freddie Gray civil unrest, in April, and April 30th this was, Victor Blackwell, uh, uh, an anchor reporter, and he anchors on weekends. You can see him on weekends mornings and middays at the anchor desk, and he's a correspondent. He grew up in West Baltimore, and he came here and he interviewed three teenagers from West Baltimore. They were students at Carver Vocational Tech. Two of them were about to graduate. One was a junior. And he wanted to understand what teenagers, what young men in West Baltimore were feeling. And he was trying to get, really, he said, inside of Freddie Gray's head a little bit through this, okay? So he interviews them and he's getting that, and then he opens it up and asks them sort of their sense of their future in Baltimore. And they paint this picture, the three of them, where they say, look, I'd like to get out of West Baltimore, but I don't think it's ever gonna happen. And he says, don't you have any hope? And They say, you can hope all you want. That's not going to change our lives. And it's really powerful stuff, okay? So, A, he does some good interviewing. He says he thought that was the end of it. He thought, well, I did my job. I went in there. I talked. I connected with these kids. I grew up there. I understand this world a little bit. Well, the president of Bethune-Cookman University in Florida sees the feature brings the three young men down to Florida to visit the campus. They think it's just a campus visit. They don't know what it is. Two of them have never been out of West Baltimore. Two of them have never been on a plane. At the end of the visit, he tells them, he gives them admission, grants them admission, and says he is going to the school pick up any expenses not paid for by federal grants for the three of them. Now you're out of West Baltimore. Don't miss up this chance. It's a great story. Victor Blackwell's tracking them. Honest to God, if you want to feel good, I posted about this on my blog at ZN TV. I got emails, and you know, normal emails are, Zerwick, I hate you. You're the stupidest guy in the world. These were like, this is a great story. We love you. Deans of colleges wrote to me. CNN.com. Go check it out. That's Dave Zerwick of the Baltimore Sun, and I'm Andy Beanstock for Take On Television on WYPR.